Good morning, everyone. I and my brother are on our way to the hospital to see an orthopedic doctor. First, thank you all so much for the outpouring of professional advice, tips, love on that video I made talking about my pain. I take every single one of those comments to heart. Thank you all so much. For all those in the same boat with me, come here for a group hug. May we all get well soon. If you're one of us suffering from this pain, please, please take some time to watch this video and read the valuable comments on that other video, which I will link below. In fact, everybody needs to watch that other video and read the comments, <laughs> if not for anything, for prevention. You will learn a lot from those comments. I did. I'm already incorporating a lot of the suggestions in my therapy. I'm getting an MRI booked with my doctor ASAP. For context, remember, this video you're watching right now happened before I uploaded that last video. I said that we will be going to the hospital that same morning. We are on our way now. So in this video, I'll share my physiotherapy sessions at this hospital, which started from that very day I recorded the other video. My original plan was to upload a very short summary of these physiotherapy sessions, but because of the feedback I got on the last video, I will upload everything I have on record concerning the entire physio session so that hopefully other people going through this pain can learn from it. This particular place, okay? Okay, St. Joseph, where Oh, you who say back yes, I be. I check one more. Na, uzo uzo beled. Ah, na wagansko school. from school out there. Oh wow. Hey. Oh wow, reception guy. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to hospital, sir. Hmm. Happy time, man. No one. This building. Before all, just on that card. I see here one with general hospital, like general teaching hospital. hospital. Yeah, you got like landmarks, can you? Mm. No, St. Joseph's Hospital, others. Very big, yeah? Two hours later. So, we are coming from seeing the physiotherapist. After how many hours did we spend there? Like two hours, no, no, no. three hours. You know, they run it like a government hospitals so go and get a card go and do this go and do that in fact i did hiv test today as well <laughs> in the process of getting a file opened for me anyway at the end we went to see the physiotherapist and after diagnosis he says that i need at least 10 physiotherapy sessions but eventually he said let's start with five because I'm leaving very soon so we're going to do five and I had to buy something he called an electrode I had to buy that and buy creams and then we paid for five sessions 2,500 per session fasting gel. fasting gel this is the gel fasting gel cost 2,000 naira each so let's see how it goes we are going to the hospital yeah I have an appointment the first appointment with the physiotherapist my brother's wife has an appointment the baby anyway has an appointment with uh, immunization appointment yeah today so we are all going to that same hospital my mom is going to the market. <laughs> say no, I'm not say no again. So it's a full car. My first nephew, like first in the line of throne of this, my brother, <laughs> is going to school. He says, smiling. He <laughs> says, smiling. He says, smiling. So it's a full car. See these bags that they're using to. This thing is massaging it, kind of vibrating.
It was painful at the beginning, but it's getting better now. See what it's doing. <laughs> No, I'm a, I'm a strong girl. I've gotten used to the pain. <laughs> the physiotherapist was asking me if I am the last born because of the way I was shouting at the beginning. How can I be last born? Strong girl like me. <laughs> Even in Obodo, they did not put this thing for me. The one that they used for me did not have any effect. Like, you might be just be touching my shoulder with one thing like that that doesn't even do anything but at least this one is doing something <laughs> you're funny <laughs> i want those that know me to listen to you calling me a chicken <laughs> they, they know i am a very strong person so the way you're calling me chicken here. Yeah. Ah, yo! Now this thing. Can you come down? Madre. What is it? If you ever. If you ever. Do you know ever? Ever. What is it doing like? It is the soothing, kind of. Ah! Oh! You will make it crazy! I can't move! Hey, you, are, you are a stronger, hey, no, you are no, a stronger no. girl. No, because I'm back. I'm shocked. Is it shocking you? No, that's the mom, man. Why? Why would it shock you? Because the mom is not sweet. You're not sweet. You know, you know, see me you're, since you're, yesterday. You're speaking you know, Spanish. You know, you're Spanish. 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 You're it's not really pain. The spasm. So why were you crying before? No, I can't for a phone at the beginning. All the kids, yeah, so all the kids you do not have yes. What changed? I even started with the noise intensity. I think I got used to it. That's the thing. You know, when you first start something, the shock. And awful is awful. When I get to half, like that pain in the feel where my just having phobia. Oral phobia. Remember. No, oh, phobia bono, you wouldn't allow the person to even put the pads on. On cow phobia. It has degrees. No. Like oh you're, you even started anticipating that this thing is going to be painful. You no. Know, like, no. Because I know I started with a very low tension. No, honestly. I didn't these pad things that I've done before mm -hmm. doesn't have anything to do with muscle spasms. No. They'll just put it and then they'll take readings. You won't even feel anything. So okay, this really is like the cardiac values. Yeah. So that is when the only other mm -hmm. hard things I've done. This, I didn't this. even, I didn't even know, I didn't even know that it would be doing like this. So I didn't, I wouldn't say that I anticipated pain, but when it started, that pain that I feel, like when I move my hand to where it's painful, that's what I felt initially. But now. I guess it's just the body getting used to what is happening to it. You know, the body adjusts. <laughs> <laughs> way. Physiologist. <laughs> way. No, the body. You know, the body. The body is is a is a special thing. The way. It's not these things. The mechanism. Mm. And this is this transcutaneous electric muscle stimulation. They cut across the pain gates. Cut across the nerves. Mm. Pain. So it shuts it off from communicating to the brain. 
No, like the pen threshold yeah. is very low. That's why everything looks so like you feel pain at every slightest thing. Ordinary little things that you're not supposed to be having all those pain. That is it. that is the thing that the pain threshold is very low. And the commonest channel, or like the only channel that conduct pain is the nerve. Yeah. So when the pain threshold is like that, the nerves you have to maybe work on the afferent neurons, as in all those things that are send the post your brain, your brain will interpret it. So it will slow down. The, speed at, the which, speed at which it sends the message of pain. Yeah. So, like, it, it, it reduces the perception of pain. Yeah, right? it does. Maybe that's what happened now. Over time, I stopped feeling the pain. Remove this. Remove this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the painful now. Here now, I'm now The first one, the first one, the parts. Okay, make sure you are clear. It's not painful. Just that. It's the part. They been able to hear for the first time. I'm going to take jaw to all my muscles before I'm going to say this person. So, who couldn't? I said, I said, no matter what, I'm going. Joe, what do you care in a fear, Kita? Oh, Kita, nothing. You don't feel any pain. I don't feel any pain. You don't feel any pain at all. It's over. What is wrong? With all these eyes, hey, oh yeah, one more day I can complete. Man, I feel yourself. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to. Oh, go belly hell. This is not something you believe for very long months. This is day two of my physiotherapy session at the hospital in my village the report from yesterday yeah i feel so much better the pain is gone you heard what the guy was saying yesterday about increasing my pain threshold that my pain threshold is so low that's why i feel pain at the slightest movement so he did everything to calm my nerves i would say reduce the inflammation because the area is inflamed so he cooled it down he used that electro thing to like shuffle my muscle <laughs> let me put it that way so i feel much better this morning my arm was not stiff when i woke up this morning in fact i'm holding my phone with my arm now with this hand <laughs> now I raised it up and it's not paining me before if i held my phone like this it will be paining me so i'll need the small tripod to hold it so my arm will be much lower because if my arm is up here it will be paining me so let me stop because i don't want to strain the arm i am on arm rest <laughs> or my arm is on bed rest <laughs> that's what he told me yesterday your arm is on bed rest so we're about to go now I set it to 30, but it was a short shorted. And that's why I set it to minimum of 40 something minutes. That can take you for 72 hours. Some hours, that's 24, S more than 72, 24 hours. 72 oh, 72. Hours. So you're saying that for these five days, only twice that we're going to do it? No. See my hand buried in ice. God. So this is day three of my physiotherapy session in the village. Yeah. So far so good. Even though today there's a change. I feel pain behind like behind my arm here. Maybe from the ice because normally for the physiotherapist to bury my arm in the 
Google. From the music playing in the car, you, you can guess who is driving me, my mom. <laughs> so, before they bury my arm in the eyes, they place some behind. And I don't know if I'm suffering from hypothermia now or frostbite. I don't know what I'm suffering from. So. <laughs> Yeah, so there are some spots at the back that are pinning me, that are like, it's quite painful. It's quite painful, so when I get there today, I'll let him know before we start the ice bearing session. I'm cutting the fish. The fish. Fish. No, no fish here. Mm -hmm. What does it do? It does a lot. It's getting sweeter. Sweeter? <laughs> Did I increase it? No. It's going to be a Making sense. <laughs> pain, pain. It's, it's making you to be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know this kind of crying and laughing at the same time. That is like our coping mechanism. Three over five. Three over five. Three is outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's my final day of physio, day five, and there's so much difference, guys. You can't believe this. There's so much difference. Okay, today they're doing the pad thing, and later we're going to do cryotherapy, which is ice therapy. Where they, the one they bury my hand in, in crystal, ice crystals. There's so much difference. I don't feel that much pain. I still have pain at one point, just one point when I tried to raise my hands, when I tried to put my hands behind me, this hand behind me. And uh, yeah, I must say that the guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, comes highly recommended in pain therapy. Yeah, yeah I don't feel, yesterday I went to Enugu and because I sat in that car through that bad road, I guess that's what made me start feeling a bit of pain again because I was tired. Maybe but I slept and woke up and I felt so good. Yeah, but I had to come and complete the the physio today, and I feel much better. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can use my hands more now without feeling pain. I still have problems reaching, for instance, reaching to this side, and reaching behind, and reaching above, but it's not as painful. Like my reach is getting wider, is it the word? Yeah. See my final ice therapy. See how Mr. Manuel buried my hand in this bitter leaf soup. This ice has bitter leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Every day he brings the, the bowl of ice, he'll tell me, your food is ready. <laughs> so this, these black things from the plastic bag that they use to freeze the ice are the bitter leaves. Yeah, this is called cryotherapy. Yeah, I've learned a lot with my physiotherapy sessions. In fact, I can now go and open a physiotherapy office. <laughs> I've learned a lot about pain and how to manage it. Yeah. So, Not in a professional way anyway. From a layman's point of view. I mean everybody everybody needs this kind of knowledge. Yeah. For their own good. We need to create more awareness about physiotherapy. Everybody needs uh, physiotherapy awareness in this country because physiotherapists are not well recognized yeah in this country but they're doing a hell lot of job 
but he's the first physiotherapist I'm coming in contact with in Nigeria. And he's the only one in this local government, right? No. Is that right? How many of you in this local government? We have one million. No, no, I'm serious. We need to create awareness. People don't know, like, anything that happens, they go to a bone setter. It's not everything that you go to a bone setter. But like this, my hand is not a bone setter. Yeah, experience with bone setter. Yeah. Yeah. I've been telling them about my bone setter experience now. <laughs> How I ran. That woman will say, look at this chicken woman. I said, leave me alone. My hand is not dislocated. <laughs> I said, Madam, cool down because I'm not going to see who is this girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that is it. Uh, I'm sure she has never seen anybody like me. You know, everybody will just call me. Whatever they're doing, they will leave them. But I told the woman, I beg go. Once beaten, twice shy. I wish she would go to Long Morocco. Lagos man nearly sent me to, to the Great Abyss. <laughs> so. <laughs> I ran. So for this ice thing, it's uh, when he's I, placing I, the crystals. Are you catching the form ice? Yeah. The form thing is, eh, I didn't know the first time you said you were doing it, I didn't know that I, I could bear it. Like, I mean, I'm thinking about snow and frostbite and all that. But the irony is that when he's placing these crystals on my arm, it's shocking, like, you know, the impact is shocking. But after a while, once your arm is dead, you're just dead. immune. To, yeah, <laughs> it <laughs> dies. <laughs> yeah, it goes numb. So you're, you're just oblivious of what is there. And it's actually relaxing, to be honest. I don't know if it's because of the weather in Nigeria. I don't know if I can try this in winter. <laughs> but yeah, of course, the, the, your home is heated up. So it's just like here now. So it's not that bad actually. It's not how long gone Anna, as the spirit leads. The spirit leads. <laughs> this guy is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> as the spirit leads. So it doesn't have but I, I guess not more than twenty minutes since we started. Like no. for for any day he did it. What makes you take it off? Um, know that when, when it's melting. When you're viral day. You know it's viral. No. Viral. Like in the practical, you know, you are you are you are, you are a physiotherapy student now. Yes, I've learned a lot. That's mm -hmm. what I was saying before. So the you come from your wife, that's when we are going to know the give you practice. Yes, no. We run the exam. Oh. We're going to give you um, a, 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 a subject where you practicalize what you've learned so far, what you've been afraid. How many units is that for? Three units. Three units only. Yeah. I'll scale it now. So that's the end of my physio sessions, five in total. And I must say that increasing my pain threshold is so far the best thing that happened to my pain. It was so effective that when my sessions finished, I was only having pain at that my biceps muscle area, that place that I told you that I had a lump. I was only having pains there from time to time and whenever that happened i'll just take an ice pack and by ice pack i mean i have one sachet of pure water in the freezer at all times so whenever that happened i'll just take that and stick it on that place for a few minutes and i'll get the relief i need i've not been on any painkillers for a long time in fact i took the last one back in october since it wasn't working for me i stopped taking them i hope you will use the information in this video to get some kind of relief to your pain I hope to hear that you're feeling better soon. I will continue to give useful updates about my progress as and when necessary. Once again, thank you all so much for your contributions to this painful topic. Bye-bye.